So I'm gonna show you a quick way to determine if you have brain damage or not. Now, this is what I don't want you to do. I don't want you to go up to your friends or your family members and tell them, hey, I just saw a video of Dr. Berg's and uh, I think you have brain damage, okay? Don't do that. This is for you and not for them. What you have to realize is pretty much everyone acquires some degree of damage in their brain as they age. And that has to do with a lack of fuel in your neurons. In one study, it was shown that an average person loses about 30% of their brain cells as they get older into their 80s and even 90s. And so that's what I'm talking about when I'm talking about brain damage. So it's not just dementia. It can happen very gradually, like you're looking for words and you're trying to remember where you put your keys, that type of thing. That is simply a situation where your neurons are starving of fuel. And the symptoms would be loss of memory, loss of clarity, loss of focus, and attention. And that comes from doing a high carbohydrate diet because over time, your body is gonna resist the carbohydrates. It's gonna create insulin resistance. And now the glucose can't go into the brain cells and they starve. The good thing about this is that neurons actually prefer a different type of fuel, not glucose, but ketones. In fact, if given the choice between glucose and ketones, the brain will always choose ketones as their preferred fuel. So if your neurons are starving for glucose, just feed them ketones. So now here is the experiment I would like you to do. Simply get on the ketogenic diet and intermittent fasting. I put a link down below. And within one to two weeks, notice your cognitive improvements. Are you sharper? Are you more focused? Is your memory better? And what about your mood? Has it gone up? If so, then we know there's some level of damage in your brain. Or you can try another experiment. You can take MCT oil. When you take this oil, medium chain triglycerides, it comes from coconuts, what's gonna happen is you're gonna make ketones directly without even going on a ketogenic diet. And your brain will absorb those ketones. And if there is damage within the brain, your cognitive function will start to improve. You'll be sharper, better focus, more attention, better memory, and even a better mood. So if there's improvement in either one of these, then we know there's been some damage going on. MCT oil basically gives you instant fuel that bypasses the damage that the carbohydrate diet created. Now, one thing that a lot of people uh, realize when they start a ketogenic diet and when they start intermittent fasting is they start feeling better. Okay, with more energy and their cognitive function starts to really improve and definitely their mood increases. So obviously they stay on the diet for a long period of time. Now the cool thing about being on this uh, program is it can even over time improve the damage of your brain. Now, rather than getting a CAT scan or MRI of your brain, just simply change the fuel source and then evaluate it, decide if it's something that you wanna do long term. All right, thanks for watching. And I put the link down below of how to do uh, the keto diet as well as intermittent fasting the correct way. Thanks for watching. Hey, we're back. With another amazing recipe. No grains, no sugar, totally keto. There's no suffering in keto. Absolutely not, Karen. And it's an immune system builder. Absolutely, you have to check this out. I think you should hurry up, watch the recipe, and make it yourself. It's just so easy to be keto. But is it simple? It's super simple. We hope you enjoy making it as much as we are enjoying eating it.